Hello friends, welcome to Chellas Kachunar and under the category of engineering material, today's topic will be aluminium alloys. In this video, we will see about aluminium and its qualities and aluminium alloy grades and its applications, advantages. What is aluminium? Aluminium is a metal found in the natural form and its atomic number is 13 and it looks silver color. Its qualities are thermal and electrical conductivity is good and it reflects light and it's soft and ductile and it's having a non-magnetic properties. And based on these, it is just being widely used in various field, industry, home appliance and transportation and etc. And one of its greatest quality is low density than all other metals. Its weight is one third of steel weight. That is one of the major reason it is used in transportation field. And it forms a productive layer of oxide when it is exposed to air. So it does not go into corrosion and it makes productive layer when it is exposed to air. And though it is soft and ductile, it can be alloyed with magnesium, copper and silicon and manganese. This alloying process helps aluminium to get more stronger and other qualities to be used in various sectors. Like I said earlier, it is used 70% of aluminium used in engineering field, even constructions, transportation, electrical and machinery etc. Let us understand aluminium alloys grading system before and going into types of alloys. So you might have seen in the standard there are four digits available to denote aluminium alloys. So let us understand what it means. First letter indicates alloying agent which, along with which alloying agent it is getting alloyed that denotes the first letter. And second and third letter explains the purity of aluminium. If it mentioned 0, 05, that means 99.5 percentage of aluminium is minimum added in that alloy. And final and last letter indicates the physical form. If 0 means it is in the casting form, 1 means it is in ingot form. Now let us understand types of aluminium alloy. So there are seven types available and let us start from first one. So first one is 1000 series. It is 99% pure and soft. Its electrical conductivity is good and it is being used in electrical applications. Second one is 2000 series. It is alloyed with copper and quality is high strength and high fatigue resistance. So pistons and gears, wheels are made up of this 2000 series aluminium alloy and 3000 series is alloyed with manganese and it is quality of high formability and door panel parts and pipes are manufactured by using this aluminium and 4000 series is are alloyed with silicon its qualities are high weldability and good abrasion resistance. Piston and engine components are made up of 4000 series aluminium alloy. And coming to 5000 series, it is alloyed with magnish. It's having a good corrosion resistance and door panel parts pipes are made up of these series metals. And coming to 6000 series were widely used in automobile field Magnes and magnesium and silicon alloyed in this one and uh, it's having a good strength and good surface finish panel parts doors engine components wheel brake parts all are made up of this aluminium alloy and coming to the last one is it's alloyed with zinc so having high strength and weldability, heavy structures, frames, bumpers and beams are made up of this aluminium alloy. 
advantages disadvantages of aluminium so its advantages are low weight flexibility and malleability corrosion resistance is high good conductivity high durability and reusable so as coming to disadvantages there are there are only one disadvantage that is costly and second one is the pure form it is not having a strength but after adding alloy we can get a strength so even alloy adding adding process it's having a cost so totally only one disadvantage is in aluminium and aluminium alloy is costly compared to other metals like steel and other things so coming to applications aluminium used in multiple areas in domestic transportation and industry application due to its great advantages so let us see some example parts so you can see there are few engineering parts and automobile parts men shown over here so let us understand why it is being used in these parts why aluminium is used aluminium or aluminium alloy is uh, are used in this parts so coming to first one is radiator the reason is high thermal conductivity good resistance for corrosion these are the reasons and piston high thermal conductivity good fatigue strength and low weight the are the reasons to to be used in piston and alternator housing because when the electricity is getting generated inside the alternator high heat will be just passing through it so it is having good thermal conductivity that is the reason it's being used in alternator housings and car exterior parts due to its less weight and good corrosion resistance this is being used in panel parts and cylinder head and blocks good thermal conductivity excellent weight reduction and corrosion resistance these are the great qualities which lead to aluminium and aluminium alloys to be used in automobile field friends you might have learned basic of what aluminium aluminium alloy grading system and its applications so now let's have a small quiz to understand how much knowledge you gathered out of this video so aluminium density is two times of steel or 1 by 3 of steel aluminium 6000 series is aluminium alloyed with magnesium and silicon aluminium alloyed with magnesium and zinc aluminium advantages are cheaper high strength in pure form or low weight and high corrosion resistance friends please mention your answers in the comment section thanks for watching please like and share our video thanks